there's beauty <laughs> and nature along the Chicago River. But look closely. When you see, you know, a piece of styrofoam flow past you, it doesn't make it a place you really want to swim in or enjoy. That voice belongs to Nick Wesley. His team wire this through that small hole has an innovative idea to improve the problem. A trash bot. The problem is so large. We could probably fill Soldier Field with what's going on with garbage on the Chicago River system. Friends of the Chicago River recently collected 80 tons of trash and invasive plants. We're creating twice as much garbage every single day as individuals, and what's happening is that's ending up in our waterways. Kayak Chicago often has cleanup events as well. Just look at the trash pile here. We're trying to beautify the space and make it the fun place that we can all recreate and enjoy. Which brings us back to Nick, his TrashBot team, and TrashBot prototype number one. Eventually, the TrashBot will collect trash like this, and here's the cool part. Virtual volunteering, more or less. Anyone, yes, anyone on the web could log on to TrashBot.org and see this right through the TrashBot's eyes. So I'm going to give it a try. You can control it for two minutes. So we're joining the line right now. Yep. But I'm controlling it right now. You should be, yeah. Here it goes. This, you could take five minutes on your lunch break and, um, you know, volunteer and actually know you've, you've contributed something. And that's building a better Chicago and who knows, maybe even more. What I hope people do with this is take this idea and use it in other areas and, and make it better. Along the north branch of the Chicago River, oh, Stacy Baca, ABC7 Eyewitness oh, News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.